Good morning. This is Eagle Nick with Eagle Nick Audits. This is Saturday morning, February the 17th, 2024. And I am back at the post office, the United States Post Office in downtown Dalton, Georgia, to film this. Right here it says it, photographs. Get a good look. This is by this door, we got one here. Good morning, sir. That is number one. Here is number two. You see it? This is a smaller one, and they got it way down here at the bottom. But, look. They've got it. You notice this one. Has more of it. It's more accessible. We're going to find poster number seven, poster seven, number three. Here we have it. This is number three. And right here by the other door, we have poster number four. So yes to you, sir, who says that Eagle Nick is a liar and has to have permission from the postmaster to do what he knows he is allowed to do. Good morning. We'll get a better look at the cards this time. Maybe our tyrant postmaster will not be here to cause trouble. But you see the lobby is open and I could go in if I wanted to. Good morning, sir. How you doing? Doing a First Amendment audit, sir. Um, that says self-service, and that fella said, I have to have permission from the postmaster. Hmm, let me check. Do I have permission? Yes, I do. I have permission by the United States Constitution available to every person, we the people. Public servant is a public servant. We the people is the public. It starts at number one and goes way back. These are the inside drop boxes for when it is closed in the lobby and you don't want to leave it outside. We're going to go back here and let's see what time the hours are to obtain a passport. There's the hours for passport. My hands are cold. I'm sorry. Okay. When I zoom, it does that crap. Look, it says, thank you. There are good people. Do you see that? Thanks. Thank you. Encouragement. 
Maybe our postmaster doesn't know they have cards here. It says there are good people, for she is definitely not one. She is a certified tyrant who thinks that because she is the postmaster, that the word postmaster means that she is the master and we the people are the public, are the servants. The American people is not subservient to the government. Our government works for us. We do not work for them. Not until they declare martial law and then look out. President Obama passed an executive order that gave the president the right to declare martial law in times of war and peace and or civil unrest. President Donald John Trump could have did that at any time during his presidency. So that was an executive order that was in effect. And he did not, and I'm sure he knowed it was an executive order that was in effect. Those type of things is for the Democrats and by the Democrats. That's one thing you will not see in a casino is a clock. Good morning, how y'all doing? See, these, all these ladies are nice, the customers are nice. And that's how it is when our tyrant postmaster is not here to tell us that we cannot record. That way we do not have to have the Dalton City Police Department come up here and set them straight. And that is the best lady here that said she knowed. And ma'am, I would like to thank you personally. And I'd like to tell you. Why were you here yesterday? Listen, ma'am, we the people. <laughs> we the people. Look, I've had people telling me. Oh, you can't do that. You got to have permission, special permission from the post office master. Ma'am, do I need permission from the postmaster? No, you do not. Did the uh, police, Dalton City police officer, set them straight and give them a free education from the public? I think so, too. <laughs> and, ma'am, uh, we the people now know why you wouldn't speak up for us. Because you didn't want to lose your job. That's right. But guess what? We're going to change that. Because <laughs> you know what? You said you know that Poster 7, you know about it. You was aware about it. You think it should have been posted, but it wasn't, right? Yes. But the reason it, nope, listen now, the reason it wasn't, ma'am, I'm not trying to interrupt you. Sure. Uh, our postmaster, Susie Rottencrotch, you know, she wouldn't identify herself. I'm sorry. I had to assign her my own name. Uh, she knows that's her job. It's a crying shame when we, the people, have to show her how to do her job. Can you tell me how long she has been the postmaster? She's been our officer in charge for at least, gosh, maybe at least six months. But she's been, a, I don't know how long she's been a postmaster. How long has she been with the Dalton Post Office? Well, she initially started her career here, but I, I, that I don't know. Was she driving a, a mail truck and no. some of our We the People pissed her off by telling her to quit throwing her mail in the damn rain or what, something? Because no. she acts like she hates, she hates the public for some reason. Uh, does she have a fear of a cell phone? And the other fella, he got like he was scared to death. He had two police officers here. I'm sorry, I will not film you, ma'am. He had two Dalton City police officers here. Do you realize how dangerous what our postmaster and that man did to me? I could have been killed if it had been some rookie cop, gun trigger, gun happy, gun ho, magnum P.I. wannabe. And for you naysayer, it said that I can't do that. You heard the lady yourself. Looky here. See, give gifts. I'm giving you a gift right now. You're welcome. Eagle Nick don't lie. 
Eagle Nick audits. It's not fake or fraudulent. And if you still don't believe it, kick rocks. You can kick rocks just like our postmaster had to do and the little tyrant male Karen that was working in here too that uh, was a chicken ass and wouldn't come out and face us after he found out how wrong he was. Oh, you can't film in here. I don't want to be recorded. Hey, do you know if either one of them ever had a real job working at Hardy's? I don't think so, because Hard Hardee's or McDonald's wouldn't put up with crap like that. But they expect the public to do it. I'm just going to let you know and be ready, because uh, we will be coming back to ask our... We will be coming back to ask our postmaster two questions that we the people has really been asking me. Uh, they'd like to know two things from our postmaster. Did she go to a special school to become postmaster? Or did she get her credentials out of a box of Cracker Jacks? I would say she got them out of the Cracker Jacks myself. And we'd also like to know how long she was postmaster before she got the misconception that being postmaster meant she was the master and the American public was subservient, was the servant to her. But we all know that to be false now. And so does she, and it makes her mad. But kick rock, Su Susie Rotten Crotch postmaster. And that is why you should always identify yourself when you are asked by the public. It is required by law. You violated my constitutional rights. I will be back. I will be back for the... Where is the videos? Oh, yes, we have a camera right here. Ma'am, I'm sure I know you got cameras. Y'all do have audio recording too, right? I sure hope so, because I want to be able to hear what they say when I get the footage of them uh, giving the, our uh, tyrant postmaster her education. I will be back. You don't got to tell her. I was just wondering if she got uh, the card I sent her. I flagged down a mailman the other day and sent her a card. And I'm a genuinely nice guy. I said, I hope I'll, I just thanked her for being her. He didn't act like he wanted to do it, act like he's scared to death. But I had him on uh, recording and told him if he didn't deliver it, I would come after him the same way I came after her. And I was way on another part of town, you know, in the city. And I don't live in the city. Dang, where do I live? That ain't none of their business. Never give out your name. Fourth Amendment, you don't have to identify yourself. They ask you, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I got a damn...